a standardized risk prediction tool is very, very important because there is a lot of variability when it comes to monitoring patients on a regular nursing floor. You need to identify a set of criteria that you will look at to look at the red flags that collectively will show that the patient is predisposed to having respiratory distress on a regular nursing floor. A validated standardized uh, prediction tool can uh, help uh, improve outcomes because it will allow um, a, us to form a protocol that will, uh, primarily most of the monitoring in, in the general floor is being done by nurses and by providing a protocol for intervention, that will allow them to uh, alert the clinicians in, in, in a more uh, timely manner as well as to put in place uh, steps that will um, you know, prevent the patient from deteriorating any further. The strength of any standardized risk prediction tool is the ease of usability. And that's why the Prodigy Risk Prediction Tool is a easy to use clinical tool. And because it's ease of usability and the stability of the model, we do believe that everyone who has handled that tool will be able to just look at a patient pretty quickly and assess for the risk. And there would be no reason on a highest risk on the Prodigy score to not subject that patient to a, at least a capnography and oximetry. We can identify uh, so high risk patients and uh, you know more pay more attention to the very specific groups of patients that could improve the outcome and probably uh, we can reduce the workload to avoid the unnecessary uh, attention. A validated standardized prediction tool can uh, Im improve health outcomes because it, uh, it provides the clinicians and the nurses a easy to use score that they can apply to identify patients at greatest risk of respiratory compromise. This will allow them to, um, to use their resources that they have uh, in, in, uh, appropriately. And uh, particularly if, if uh, there is a limitation on the availability of uh, monitoring or there's a cost concern, and, to, and this will allow uh, early and um, targeted identification of patients at highest risk.